All right, so we're here at the Whiskey Exchange. So we're gonna check this place out and see what they have. Being independent, we don't have shareholders that we need to keep kind of make a whiskey that we want to make. Uh, so just a little bit about where our water source comes from. We get an incredibly soft, light and delicious whiskey from it. It's incredibly easy to, uh, to work with. Do you mind if I record your little... Yeah, sure. Your laptop? <laughs> this is no problem at all. So if I go through some of the casks that we're working with. So you are tasting the sherry cask, which mm -hmm. is this one here, the bodega. So again, a lot of the sort of dark chocolate notes, but at a cask strength mm -hmm. at 55.8, it's, it's, it's got that good robust flavor to it too. Yeah, I like it a lot. I would start with our entry level. This is like crisp, fresh oranges, lemons, citrus. Again, really accessible. And then we we'll try something a bit more rich and gourmet and you can really appreciate those differences. So there's our island. Mm -hmm. it, we like to call it a, a Scotland in miniature. So you have the highlands to the north and then lowlands to the south. And our distillery is right here in a place called La Cranza, right by the coast. Usually when you travel from the mainland of Scotland, you travel by ferry and you'll get into a place called Brodick, Brodick Bay. Absolutely stunning. We're the only distillery on the island. It's great to visit. And we've just opened our second distillery on the island, which is down here in the south called Lag. Okay. And Lag will be making these, so all of our full range are non-peated malts, so they are not smoky, they are more fruity, fresh and vibrant. However, Lag will be producing exclusively peated malt, and we should be hopefully releasing those in a few years. With really exciting stuff coming from us. Today is our last day in Paris, so 
for checking out La Maison du Whisky. Priorities. Priorities. to La Maison du Whisky, which is a huge whiskey store here in Paris. It's only about a 10 minute walk from our hotel. And I bought these three small bottles of Amaric French whiskey. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try them right now and see which one is my favorite. And then I'll go back to the whiskey store and buy a normal size bottle. Since we don't have Glencairns, I'm just using a teacup. Yeah. I like it. Which one's that one? This is the Amoric Classic. Amoric, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. When I go back, I'm gonna ask them like what the correct pronunciation of it is. All right, next is gonna be the double maturation. So I told the guy there that I liked bourbon and this was the one he recommended. But I wanted to try them out just for, you know, to be able to try them all. I feel like the other one had a more prominent scent. Ooh. I definitely like that one the best so far. Yeah. These are all single malts, by the way. Mm -hmm. And he said that the distillery is over in Brittany. Yeah, so so far, the double maturation one. Is your favorite? Is the winner. Yeah. Well, that's the one he told you. Mm hmm. I feel like this one has a sweeter smell than the other two. Well, it's sherry. Isn't that usually sweeter? I don't know too much about sherry, but I feel like it's a little bit on the drier side, usually. But maybe it's just the flavor that's kind of giving it that. Favorite. It's different. Like it's much different from the other two, and it's probably because of the sherry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the guy at the store was right. This one is definitely for me. All right, so I'll go back and get that one then. So we went into the store, or I went to the store with the intention of buying a bottle of French whiskey. And I got those three little minis. And they actually had a really good collection of sort of rarer minis that you don't find in miniature. So this is Amra, it's an Indian whiskey, uh, cast strength, Kavalan, Taiwanese whiskey, finished in uh, bourbon barrels. And then this one is Pendrin, it's a single malt uh, Welsh whiskey, Wales. Uh, Madeira finish, so it's finished in a Madeira wine barrel. And then finally I got this little box of, uh, it's like a little kit of three different compass box whiskeys. It's got the Glasgow blend, the uh, Orchard House, which I've actually never heard of, and Hedonism, which I have heard of. That's supposed to be like their flagship whiskey. They always have really interesting label designs. Um, compass box. Look at those labels. 